uh, thanks all for being here. Um, yeah, so we were talking about in the previous panel, talking about lots of things, uh, not the things I, I intended to talk about, <laughs> um, but whether it's okay uh, to uh, make fun of um, uh, people who have passed, um, who have quite smugly, uh, from, uh, passed from COVID, but quite smugly said uh, they, they are anti-vax, uh, quite publicly said they're anti-vax, anti-mask, and questioned uh, whether whether it was real, whether it was a government hoax, all these things, right? Through the Herman, Herman Cain Awards. Uh, so I want to get you guys' opinions on that. If not, uh, we can move on to the, another topic as well. Um, we got more of those coming through. Like Ben Garrison, right? Did you hear Ben Garrison got COVID? Ben Garrison? I don't, I don't know who Ben Garrison, is. the political cartoonist, the one that everybody's parodying with, like, the... the replacing everything with cum that guy he's the guy he, that, he writes labels on all of his on all the parts yeah. of his drawings he's treating it with uh, ivermectin and beetroot juice so he might actually die all of now i mean i mean it's fine <laughs> it's whatever honestly i feel i feel like um Americans, America, actually the world is so big at this point that it's kind of just like schadenfreude in a way where you're literally going to have, you're always going to have certain people that are going to probably like aim at people and uh, heckle the person that obviously is anti-vax. So there's no way really around that, honestly. Like this, if you're, especially if you're a public figure, um, if you're a public figure, just, I don't feel like there's any point where you're just going to, not be heckled about something um, in a positive, in a negative nature, or a positive nature, or vice versa. It just, it's just like, eh. so I it's, think it's just can, that level of Schadenfreude. Are you I think you can in... really cross a line though when people are like uh, going to like dead people's Facebook pages and like going to their family's Facebook pages and like screaming at them about how like. I, I agree. Like, I agree. But that's also like, like the that's also right. like the nature of the internet, like a really bad nature of the internet, and the nature of the internet's always yeah. Been okay, but we're not asking. That, yeah. We're not asking yeah. what is. We're asking what yeah. is, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we we recognize that it is, and we're saying that like, is this okay or is it not? <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> saying, I feel like those people should probably get temporarily suspended from those platforms or maybe even permanently so it just kind of it... i don't know there's just so much fucked up shit right like because there's like i don't know like a daughter convinces her grandparents that's not a good idea to get the vaccine or just like old people in general who just don't really know a lot about what's going on because they're like sitting in front of fox news all fucking day they don't get the vaccine and they just die and it's like and everybody just being like lamau 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 all the time it's like pretty uh i don't the whole, like we yeah, talked about like it's the missing... hypocrisy of it all that people are laughing at and like the just like the 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 lack of humanity that they showed before death sort of like why should we care about their humanity now you know that's the well yeah, yeah but like the... sharing a couple of anti-vax memes on facebook like just reposting them right not even like making them yourself or whatever um is like a far cry from being like a, a Tucker Carlson type figure, right? Tucker Carlson yeah. got COVID tomorrow. Oh. I'd, I'd fucking laugh my nuts off, right? Not even Tucker like... Carlson. <laughs> even like any of the, uh, there was a lot of right wing figures who. Oh yeah, I just picked got COVID a and example. died. Yeah, right? I, d I just like, and then people laugh at the fact that they died. Yeah. And uh, there's a problem. Herman, Herman Cain. Yeah. You have a problem with that. Yeah. And there's a part of me that agrees with Fanatic, where a lot of people will just double down and not actually ever get the vaccine for for, for, I, for this I, kind of like I think behavior. He took it, I think he took it to a ridiculous fucking level, though, where he was like, "The left is responsible for these people being the way they are," which is fucking absurd. No, no there, there's plenty of people in the middle and the right that will probably do similar that believe in vaccines. So it's. Eh. But yeah, I don't know. It's weird. And, I, and, I, and also, when we were talking about dehumanization, I think there is genuinely an element of like dehumanization from them to left-wing people. If you look at like the people who walk around the supermarket coughing on people, for example, right? Um, like, even if you think that COVID isn't real, right? That it's all a big hoax. Like, walking around and just coughing on another individual is still a fucking shit thing to do. And if you recognize that they believe that the, the disease is real, right, you're obviously going to be terrifying them, right? Yeah. So, like, it's so, so they have to, like, think of you as being lesser or 
complicit and part of some kind of evil plot, right? Which is essentially what most of these people think is going on. Like, if you're properly anti-vax, you're like, yeah, no, there's some kind of evil plot by the Democrats to do blah, 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 blah. Anything from New World Order communist takeover to implant microchips into my fucking brain. Yeah. Yeah, it's it, like Viv, you and I, like as non-Americans, I think maybe the only non-Americans here, it's crazy hearing like people be like, oh, our government's trying to take our our rights and freedoms, whereas like, you know, the rights and freedoms have been taken away from everyone, but for a good reason. Uh, yeah. I think, <laughs> <laughs> right, right. I think the closest analogy Where did we though, go? to be made about uh, the, the talking point of this is people losing their freedom is the question of do you have the freedom to potentially like, uh, you know, like to spread this disease to potentially lead to, to more death? And I guess like the closest thing that people have to that is the Commerce Clause, where it lets the state regulate. Uh, let let's the state regulate um, like certain aspects of business, and and that's actually the justification of why uh, vaccines in schools are mandatory. If I'm remembering properly, yeah, no, when I it's so why I went like eh, is because like there you know there's been um at least in the UK and in the United States there's been some pretty fucking big blunders, right? It's pretty big fuck ups um, around like policies that have been initiated, uh, instituted, sorry. Um, and there's things that have probably been instituted that didn't need to be. Uh, you know, it's, it's, yeah. <laughs> so I think, yeah, it, while I think you're right that these like freedoms are being um, like uh, curtailed for what is essentially a good reason, I don't think necessarily the, the way in which they're being curtailed is like the most effective way to do it all the time. Yeah, no, they, they've been good for business mostly and bad for people's mental health, health at least in my province. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. So oh, what Canadian about... Spotted. Yeah. What about... Um, what up? Could you tell the, by my accent you're saying I'm not American? <laughs> well, you said province. Sorry. Oh, okay, you didn't get it when uh, I said not American. You couldn't tell I'm not British from my accent? <laughs> I, wasn't, I wasn't paying super close. Okay. I'm sorry. What accent? Okay. If you're Canadian, you're We're all American, hiding you're, just, you're just the better kind of American. I'm sorry, oh. still on the same continent. Sure. All right, um, don't worry. I'll uh, destroy her facts and logic on that point later on. Um, but, Hero, you want to say something? <laughs> With feelings. Did you have, sorry, uh, I, I thought maybe, oh, I don't know, if whoever no. was saying something before. Uh, oh, um, oh okay. I was going to say that there was uh, less obvious sources of, like, uh, misinformation being spread, so... Like hospice in the South, like religious hospice centers and stuff are handing out ivermectin like it's candy. Like they're getting a hold of bulk, like orders of prescription and stuff, handing them out. Um, we will hold, uh, you know, people that are public figures accountable. We've had that conversation like a couple, a couple different times on the panel. But it's how do we stop the misinformation like that from spreading and like causing more people harm? Because, you know, we you can say, or the left is to blame for these people thinking like this when there is sources on the right and like from not politically affiliated religious groups, like at a local level. But how do you hold the religious organization accountable if they do something like that? I saw Nassar like throwing his hands up like he had something to say. I don't know. Well, my gripe, my gripe about the vaccine overall is generally tr Trump. Oh, fuck. God damn it. I clicked the goddamn link and I, I was trying to look up something. Ah, crap. Ah, I can't hear. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, it, it's, a, it, it's like or Operation Warp Speed happened. We like, so like, like it's, if it, it's not like there's some big conspiracy for the government to put it like, like it would be really weird for all these governments to at the same time, try to be like doing something like really fucking shady. And if it was, I, I don't know, it's just. It's the internet we live in where no one wants to trust anything and conspiracy, um, that need for conspiracy that gives them this form of like community that they want to be a part of. So like flat earthers in a way. Um, so maybe it's it's just the way, the new way to like feel like you're part of something. Uh, um, it's, it's just so crazy to think that like a, 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 like a Trump sponsored uh acceleration of a vaccine um is still not trusted enough 
to to like justify like anyone wanting to get it and then that just tells you like all right <laughs> Um, but then again, but then again, the uh, people, a lot of people are losing faith in medicine in general due to conveyor medicine and um, obviously like a lot of the opioid related issues and stuff like that. So it's, it's very understandable where, uh, where people are just throwing their trust to Facebook or throwing their trust to these private groups. Um, and it's, but it's scary at the same time. It's like, where, where, where are the, what are the answers to get back this trust? Um, and I just I mean, don't know what those are without like uh, offering like some serious remedial education for people that have outside of secondary school and then like changing how like high school health classes essentially operate is the only way you could do something like that. But um, yeah, like what like how would what, what would a program for adults essentially to learn about health like even come about? I don't think that's it would just be banning right? people who are spreading misinformation information from the highest level and then down like like uh, honestly Carlson, for example, would be misinformation it yeah I feel, like learning about, I feel like learning about rm like mrna vaccines is already like there's already a high bar of, you need like, to know information about, that you, you don't have any other any other to... medication works can you explain an mrna vaccine I get what well, you're saying, though. So it's like modified RNA. Um, in, I'm saying this as a person who believes in vaccines. I'm way. not taking right. acid. I know it's, the last it's word we is don't, acid we don't, don't know. Is that we yeah. aren't actually like scientists. So like it's very hard to explain these things. Yeah. yeah. And But for most medicines, I think that's the point, right? That most medicines, uh, we, we don't yeah. uh, get an explanation, right? Like not for every pill. And and uh, anti-vaxxers do this too, right? Every single fucking one of them. Like uh, they take pills like the rest of us. And they don't scrutinize every single pill, right? In the manufacturing process. And, you know, um, is there a cabal behind this? And like what their intentions are. Um, right. Sometimes you actually should scrutinize your medicine because... Uh, uh, they can be made in some unsanitary conditions, right? Like that's the actual problem with our medication is that so much of it's not made in the U.S. Uh, it's not up to the standards that we we want and we assume uh, there to be, but we don't actually scrutinize these things and we don't know how it all works, right? Um, but so for this, yeah. so they're making a special case in this one um, because they think there, there, there's something going on. But yeah. oh, and that's I, I the thing too. The, wait, oh. wait, the uh, the vaccine for Corona wasn't made in. I well, think you you are right. It wasn't made in the U.S., but no, 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 no. I was talking. I was talking about other medication. Other medication. Oh, you're talking about other medication. Okay, all right. Yeah. So we we're not talking about the uh, corona vaccine, right? Just, just, we're no, just talking just, about general health care. No, no, just for just for that, just for that. Yeah, analogy. Yeah, just okay. No, okay. I just wanted right. my point that like you don't know what's in your other medications, yeah. so like yeah. why do you care so much all of a sudden? Well, and that's the thing too. I feel like a lot of these people who are like anti-vaxxers or like um, pseudo like medicine people fall to these like arbitrary random like anecdotes and personal experiences like that's how people get caught up in the whole like essential oils cure my cancer or like chiropractors cure my cancer kind of nonsense where like they oh, don't but, care about but, studies and then you have to like lean in the religion with that as well because they're like literally religion leans into this this issue you um, actually don't times. Yeah, uh, yeah, well for some it studies. just depends just care about, like the, yeah. these the anti movement before this was like largely on the left wing where it was like new age sort of like hippy dippy shit um where they wanted to reject big pharma um and i still want to reject big pharma because they're corrupt as fuck but i i'm i'm gonna take that vaccine and you know if i get cancer i'm gonna give get the medicine and, and know that praying isn't gonna help me and uh you know putting my asshole up to the sun in uh joshua tree national park is not gonna help me so if we thing? know that we have to I was like, educate people. Yeah, that's that's a thing. Yeah, yeah. that's a thing. But seriously, you guys got to give me some more information about this one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I know. Yeah, I'm close. On. You don't want to know. Sourcing. Okay. It's like, are they trying to bleach their assholes? Like, no, seriously. Like, someone give me an article. Oh yeah, this. yeah. The vitamin, the vitamin D I'll, thing. I'll cause, cause, oh my god. Oh my god. The vitamin D on your it. asshole. Okay. All right. <laughs> so, so, I, like, so for me to play devil's advocate here, um, I've. I've like there's a, a certain perspective that I think you know at face value could be pretty convincing and even seem like scientific and have a very uh, rational biological basis for being anti-vax, which would be the following. 
uh, you believe that getting some form of the weakened virus, like, and uh, that has been manipulated in a lab, is w- it, like for you to develop an immune response based on that is gonna be worse for you for your immune system than acquiring it through natural means, quote unquote natural means. Uh, and developing your own bodily immune response based on your body's version of the acquired virus. So then, then could you get a like a, a blood transplant? Like could someone give you their blood, even though you can make your own blood? It would have to be the same type. Or if we're going to talk like this, I but... mean, of course, yeah. But like, no, I don't I think know. We're I'm I'm trying to right. like. Uh, just I, just follow it a little bit. I, I'm, so I'm not, without just are, missing it entire, are, without I'm, just missing entirely, just like kind so of. So I'm a less bit. interested in having a, like a straight up. I mean, we've done this so many times, like an anti-vax debate and why they believe what they believe. I mean, like whatever, right? Of like, course, yeah. we, we, We've hit it so many times, um, and we'll do it again in the future. I promise you, we will, because it's the story of the day of the fucking of two years. Holy shit! Um, but yeah, um, forever. But I, I, no, yeah, it's fine. Um, but I want to talk about more about the people who are making fun of them, uh, who are, well, not even making fun, because are they making, have you guys, are you, first of all, are you guys familiar with the Homer and Cain subreddit? Like, let's start there. If you guys are not familiar, then it's a little difficult. No. I've heard right. of what? The, the Herman, story. The I've Herman, heard that from yeah. a words. Oh my God. Herman I mean, Cain? My experience with it is generally there's been like maybe like two radio show hosts that have literally have died from COVID so far, okay. and they were severe anti-vaxxer related things, and then people were making fun of them. Okay. So okay. I do understand from that side. Okay. And you know what? Then let, me, let me explain. Wrong. Then let me explain. Yeah. Let me explain. Uh, okay. For the Herman Cain subreddit, Herman Cain Awards, um, uh, and this is what we were talking about previously. The Herman Cain um, uh, subreddit is about. Uh, uh, well, it's named after Herman Cain, who was a Republican uh, uh, presidential nominee presidential a few years ago, and yeah. he jumped on the Trump train, and when COVID hit, he said that it was either a hoax or not serious or whatever, right? Very public about it, on social media and the whatnot, and then he caught it, and he shortly died. Um, so uh, this like is named after him, and you hand out an award uh, for people who, uh, like ordinary citizens who are on uh, social media doing the exact same thing talking about how it's a hoax how it's government control all that stuff uh, nonsense right they doing that and then catching covid uh, and then some of them dying uh so that's how you get in the Herman Cain award subreddit and if you read them there's a lot of people like read the like the po- like the through the uh the posts them themselves uh there are a lot of people who are commenting there and uh taking some sort of uh, sick pleasure in all this, right? Saying like, um, well, this is, you know, what you get, um, and all that. And we're talking about that, whether it makes sense to, um, to do that, whether, I, yeah. Right? Didn't we talk I, about this I just, the I just checked on the, people the didn't Herman, know like it was. r slash Herman Cain okay. awards. Um, and the top post of, of today, the title is everyone in my house is extremely anti-vax, but this subreddit pushed me to get secretly vaccinated. Thanks guys. And there's a picture of someone's vaccination record card. That's that's. I mean, if you're shaming people into get it, and uh, getting it, maybe it's worth like you know making. Yeah, I mean, you could you could apply that to fat shaming. That's been disproven like pretty regularly, mm-hmm. right? I, I think that just because one person got shamed because like there is a cult on like, Reddit, every, I don't think that necessarily fat, means that you should be. Fat wants to not be fat though, right? That's right. A, yeah, I, but every, I mean, but it's so it's like all you have to do to get vaccinated is like take 15 minutes off and just. Go get a poke in your arm and and, and then do okay. it again like every, weeks later. Every, right. The thing everybody, is, we don't have everybody to. Everybody who's fat does not want to not be fat. Yes, but you. also, okay. there's well, a significant we difference. We don't have to talk about fat there's people, also though. there's also there's also a significant difference between being fat and not taking the fucking vaccine and dying. Like when when you fat shame somebody, you're like oh you're fucking gross or whatever, right? Like it's just like making them feel shit about their body or whatever. Right, it's fucking, it, it's horrible. It makes people fucking depressed. And when people are depressed, they tend to eat more anyway, or they tend to eat nothing at all. It depends on the person, I guess. But like, um, but for the back shit, what they're actually doing is they're they're, they're taking people who are extraordinarily anti-vax and they're showing the results of their beliefs. Right, this is it is it's 
that's significantly different. In the, I, don't, in, I don't know if it's coming from a point of education, though, as much as it is from like making fun of and seeking amusement out of well, these people who are about, outspoken, I'm right? The, I'm not talking about well, the fucking intent, dude. I'm saying, but but I'm that does that, matter, like, right? Well, it's not even intent on like specific, like uh, uh, the general people. It's just like it, it's. I, I don't know how to explain it. It's when like the, it, the people who isn't this the always... Schadenfreude thing again with the, like similar to like Karen in the past debate I've had. This is kind of like the similar thing where generally yeah. people are 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 obviously anti-vax, and then it's the, the people making fun of those people's misfortune. Uh, some people get off on that, and those people aren't good people. Um, but it's kind of it's kind of like a, a spectacle. Everyone wants to stare and watch at the spectacle. So it's kind of like like a Karen related issue. Where it's it's like every, time, every time a Karen gets punished, you know, we we get or like you know they lose her job or something. We we're like, yes, finally they're, they're getting their comeuppance. Unfortunately, the Herman Cain Award is they're actually dying, and that and you know you can't come back from death. You, you can't get back from being canceled. Yeah, borderline correct. Yeah, it's yeah, it's, it's more just, like it's, the people who always say don't get the vaccine, and then they're on their deathbed and they say, "I was wrong. We should." Probably you should probably do this because I'm well, dying. Quite, quite, a die. lot, quite a lot of them, quite a lot of them don't say that. Quite a lot of them maintain their anti-vax status until they're fucking dead. But well, like that's yeah. I, but there's a lot of big mainstream. Well, that just shows their commitment, that, right? Like, that makes it sadder. <laughs> Which <laughs> commitment? I, don't know, I think we want them committed <laughs> that way. <laughs> so when we celebrate if you're dying of COVID, yeah. But so also, when we like laugh but at also, that. but also, but also, it's also the the um the ultimate fucking refutation of their arguments, right? It's their the ultimate refutation of their arguments that either the ridiculous treatments that they're taking work or that you know the the not getting the vaccine is a good fucking idea, right? You, you they lived they lived what they preached and it fucking killed them, right? There is a lesson in that, regardless of whether or not the intent is to teach a lesson. There is well, a lesson in that, that people. Do we look at like Joe Rogan and uh, uh, Trump as like people who survived it like normally, like normal people do? Well, I mean, still, people still make fun of them. Of them. Those are they like even... the those are like the big people who survive. Because yeah, we're talking about like, more. Of them. not just as made far fun as of I know, them. we're talking about like big people who both of them live through it or die no, from no, no. it. The Herman Cain both Award is like normal people. Really fucking. Oh, it's just normal. Oh, it's just normal people. If the homer yeah. came, if it's just normal people, then like that's that's kind of cringe. That's even in my cringe, opinion, but like, like okay, it's kind of it's the idea a little of the subreddit. The idea of, of like yeah. any subreddit is not necessarily to be funny. It's like to to be eye opening and to see other people's points of view. So I when I see posts from that subreddit, I'm not going, Haha, "This person died." I go, ah, man, "You're not. Hey, You're hey, not. This guy fucking died." Right. You're not, but, but I think a lot of people on there are. are yeah. yeah, they're finding yeah, yeah, enjoyment. Yeah, yeah. Well, like I said, like, there's, a, there's a level of Schadenfreude, and it's a spectacle, and everyone's different, and every it's subjective to that person. Exactly. Some people, some people are really more morbid than other people. Some people don't value life the same way you value life. At the end of the day, so it's kind of like. It's, it's kind of like a person to person basis and the reddit gives people that perfect outlet actually uh, where they can actually somewhat stay anonymous and, I really and you know me. i'm sorry yeah. that's probably i didn't mean probably, to flip on you there's probably some people's lives who aren't who aren't really even fucking worth anything to be honest like when you start talking about this shit the amount of fucking harm that they've done and so on i think they're they're they genuinely is a kind of like uh, not even poetic justice, but just a straight up fucking kind of justice in somebody who has spent their entire career like misinforming people, causing you know hundreds, if not thousands, of deaths. Like it, I, them getting COVID and dying from it. That's pretty fucking hilarious. Like I don't know if Tucker Carlson got it tomorrow, I'd fucking laugh my uh, I'd laugh my head off. But like, oh, okay, uh, just to be devil's advocate, like how would you feel if uh, Fanatic's mom died? Because Fnatic decided not to get vaccinated and got it for his third time. Fnatic's mum died because Fnatic chose not to get the vaccine. I yeah. mean, that's not that's not funny. That's Fnatic killing his mum. Yeah. Hey, these that's are not the same. What? Or don't don't post. It's that. not even remotely the same thing. That's not is the it? same thing. Right. All right. Yeah. 
But just shitting on Fnatic. Let's go. <laughs> Stop. 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 Good one, Stop. man. I'm not sure. What was that? Uh, but, why are we shitting on Fnatic? Yeah, we're not. Um, but okay. He, I mean, he was. He was. <laughs> we're, 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 we're not. Yeah, don't worry. Um, but that's that's just. Don't, that's yeah, just don't fanatic. worry. Don't. We're not. Don't worry. Don't worry. We're not. Um, so but, I, okay. I could have a question. Hey, what's <laughs> up, everyone? I'm new here. My name is Arthur Whitefield. That's really great. Man. That's nice. Wait until other people are fucking. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, um, to Vivian, is the reason that um you'd be okay with Tucker Carlson um getting it because it's some kind of poetic justice or just because he's a shit human? Like, because I. I view it at it like, well, if he got hit by a car, a lot of people would also probably be happy. I'm not sure is, this is, is the shit. method of him dying that matters, or would like? Well, I can understand is, celebrating the death the of someone is. that you don't really don't like. Like I did the, the same method, thing with Bolton, the but like. <laughs> Okay. You know, talking about Tucker Carlson getting can we just kick this funny. dude trying what the fuck uh, okay so so I guess I guess the like hypothetical you're making show. is like is is like no is let it... me answer the fucking question okay, yeah sure go ahead what's the question I don't know you just want to stop <laughs> yeah no it's cool uh but the, 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 oh geez so the 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 mode the, the manner in which he dies is uh like would add to the hilarity right like if he just gets hit by a car randomly, it's not nearly as funny as if he gets killed by something he's been like encouraging other people to to do, right? I was coughing too hard and like, yeah. gets killed by a Nazi. Yeah, I was just trying to like. Yeah, I, I mean, I agree with you. I'm just trying to figure out like how much. My bad. Uh, you know, I guess the difference is, I guess, but yeah, I mean, that makes sense. Tucker Carlson famously killed by death by a thousand paper cuts and all books he didn't read. Okay. Well, how would he get a paper cut on a book he didn't read? You, that doesn't even that's, make sense. You get paper cuts away, on books. Fine. That's you get paper point. cuts on books you do <laughs> that's, read. That's the point. Right. We shouldn't. We, I, 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 like, I, I, he sounds like a man who burned books. Explain this one. Okay. Go no, ahead. I, I, I think there's still some uh, discussion to. It. I'm still not Let's sure see. I understand. Learn as though you live oh, forever. Okay. Oh, the live as though you'll die tomorrow. Okay. Gandhi said that. Okay, so back to the subject. Is there anyone here who so is there anyone here who thinks like it's good that there is this from in Cave Award subreddit? Um, okay, uh, so I'll I'll make the case uh, uh, for it and then I want to hear everyone else. Uh but okay. It, so boy. the the case is Go that baby. they are cataloging. Cataloging this, right? This is something that's this is we are having a cultural moment now. Right? Where well, there is this massive divide uh, within our nation, right? And, and I mean, I guess it's not just people from the states, but it's mostly English language things. It's gonna be mostly people from the states. Um, but still, um, uh, sorry. Uh, if you can mute yourself, uh, Arthur, you got like uh, we're here in your um, your, he's um, new here. Yeah, your baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we get it, you babe. It's, it's fine. Um, but thank you're a better, Mike. Thank you for being no, it's fine. Thank you for being your author. Just yeah, all right. Okay. Um, so they're cataloging all of this. They are are, are uh, taking stock. This is I th I think to, there, there's a certain value to this. As someone else said it before, right? If you're just like um if you're putting this up and you're just saying, Hey, this is sad, well then like uh then that's of use, right? Um but then if you're putting up and, and uh laughing at it. Well, then that's different. I'm not exactly sure if it is, right? One way or the other, that's interesting information. This is an interesting cultural moment that's being preserved. And otherwise, it, it might not be, right? This is a whole thing with um, preserving the digital age. But they're doing that at this point. And I, I mean, think there's actually there's some, there's some merit to it. I want to talk so badly. Can I say something? All right. All right. So the, like, there's a huge conversation here about the Eighth Amendment that I think a lot of people might be missing. You know? I don't think they're about the Eighth Amendment. <laughs> you know, it's what a, that? What is it? Yeah. Explain. Eighth Amendment, no unusual crime or punishment, right? It's not, or, it's not for the okay. time, Cool. So, yeah, but I, I'm not sure I understand. Yeah, no you could explain punishing please. anyone here. I mean, I'm, I'm thinking of the shit that was said about Tucker Carlson, right? Like, you guys want to see him like eaten by a pack of wolves or something? You know what I mean? Like he's a he's a pretty no. Serious. I don't I don't yeah, think anyone's like, saying he uh, should. No We're just saying that about. like if he, no if someone said, who was denying no. it was to get it, there right, would be a level of yeah. irony. No one is, is saying these people be, should die, especially like, not just like oh, out of the blue. I said that'd be pretty. I said that'd be pretty no, hilarious. In the I'm just 
The Eighth I'm Amendment, just saying I wouldn't care. The Eighth Amendment, the Eighth Amendment relates to, uh, like, what the fucking government can do to you. Not, like, whether people can cancel you off Twitter, okay? Right. So right. you're talking about somebody who got cancelled on Twitter? I'm, like, lost. I have, like, no like, context. Or, not, whether, like, really or, whether people, or whether people can Amendment. laugh at you dying, right? The Eighth Amendment is about what the government can do to you in response to you committing a crime. Yeah. Right. Okay, like cool. So good. Cops can't so, bring you into the station so. and like say like your punishment is uh, we're gonna bring the whole platoon out and laugh at you. Uh, Pressing. I mean, and it's like the punishment. They, they well, can do what it. I was gonna respond to, Brian, was like, uh, Wait, like really the legal? like you having the utility and like cataloging this, like it kind of um, gets diluted when these people are just like pointing there and laughing exclusively because it's like their sick joy, because they're going to be excluding some cases because it's like of there's it lacks a hilarity fa factor or there's gonna be something else that like um prevents them from like clearly and not biasly like taking all of these accounts like there may be some things they're leaving out because they are particularly sad because they're exclusively browsing like browsing through facebook for like stuff that's hilarious to them so they're only going after people that sound like fanatical or like crazy so that's where like uh, I would push back on like there's like use for this because I think like because they're withholding information, um, it's going to create a diluted message for historians to go back and get it. Sorry, under do you have evidence that. they're withholding information? It's because they're laughing at it that it's not. I'm using withholding evidence as like an example of what could be tainting. Like, well, their, but the, but it the point of this Reddit, the point of this Reddit is that the people are the people in question are making either declarations of the vaccine being a hoax, uh, the fact that they don't want to get anti-vaxxed, or they're spreading misinformation, and then they literally end up being the target of, of the, 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 the virus and themselves. No, the point of the Reddit um, is so, to laugh at them, right? Um, so yeah, that's yeah. Right. that is exactly what the point of the Reddit is. is the point of the Reddit. Uh, there is no, I, I think that's exactly the point of this Reddit, because Wait, this unfortunately, so I love this Unfortunately. Guy. Well, I, I would say, hold on. I, one, I would respond to Fresh Inc. and say that uh, every, all of history is tainted and skewed, right? Like, all of it, every bit of it. Roman history is uh, uh, written by rich uh, scholars who could write, or, like, kings like themselves. Like, like, the, like the poor people who, not appropriate. who couldn't, who, the poor people who couldn't read and write, like, didn't get to write down their daily lives and how they thought about all the events that were ha taking like place, right? Is. Yeah, like, these things are uh, just, and in, in guess just how that goes. This doesn't have to be comprehensive to have value in it, right? Like, like part of it, another part is to just see what people thought about it, right? Like, how are people reacting? This in itself, I think, is useful. Um, okay, I, well, just, so you, you're saying, like, you could catalog? So like it's a catalog. Yeah. Like of, this is like creating like a record of this catalog, event and like yeah, how like people a... responded. Yeah. Okay. Unfortunately, Facebook was not down for forever today. It came back. It's already back. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's cataloged already, and the metadata will show if they talked about vaccines. So I don't know if that point's very relevant. I but, see. Uh, yeah, we can laugh about it a little bit. Yeah, I think also well, another thing that needs to be said is that like this Reddit in particular is very heavily curated as we've like talked about. The intention behind it is to like meme and clown on these people. And so in doing that, like like you have a point prime in saying that like when you like no matter what with like history you're going to have like bias and like one-sided narratives going on, but here there's very clearly like no intention of actually trying to like archive history in a way that's like useful for future societies in any way. Well, is, Especially it if it's like therapeutic though. It might be therapeutic for people, you know, people who have been doing all the things right and they've been seeing all people around them doing all the wrong things to mitigate this fucking disaster. It should and be like, therapeutic to like what do all of you think of your, like your political enemies' deaths though? Like that's I mean I don't know, that is pretty what about like when the what Taliban dies? Like I think, like, I think we you ISIS should. dies, or you're not like good, they're dead. Or you're also, like, right? oh, they could have they they just went down the wrong path in life. Of course they did, but they were doing bad things to people that like innocent that were innocent, you know? Sure, but you have to get to the point of like Taliban or ISIS for me to feel some sort of joy about it, right? All right. Okay. So, well, okay. so you, say so you host a party with like a super spreader event. Wait, wait, wait. And you kill more people than an ISIS guy. 
How many people? How many people have the Taliban killed? Do you know? Enough. Enough. More than <laughs> right. I mean, probably not as many as COVID. I right. Okay. Good. Probably. Fantastic. <laughs> well, I have no idea about the actual numbers, but I'm just assuming. <laughs> Yeah, I think it would be really difficult for the Taliban yeah. to have killed as many what? people as COVID. How many people has religion killed? Let's talk about that. Well, no, let's let's, let's continue uh, on this topic. Uh, okay. Uh, this so, well, so I just, I just want to say, More I just want to say that, like, uh, with with regards to Tucker Carlson, and a lot of time, like, it's just it gets it's getting it it can get it feels like the right is dangerously close to making another leap because you know people say like oh it can't get worse than trump some people say it can get worse than trump but then like what happens when people on the right start wanting to say stuff like oh well if like you might you might be a a citizen or legal now but if you were illegal at any point then you should have that uh legality revoked you know so like that's when you know Basically, you would have a very personal problem with me, and I would definitely be down for violence at that point. Like I, I'm, I'm well, just straight, in, straight up America, saying. Uh, America, well, yeah, even, though, is, even, even though America oh, has threatened us a, like on and off, I think we have enough balance and checks that we will never ever get to that point. That if we actually deem someone a citizen or we deem someone. Um, we we grant them that right and we don't reverse it. Um, we I'm not gonna say we haven't done t- it before. Wait, no, I was gonna uh, say because you're the you're past has happened. Um, but uh, I feel like we have enough balance and checks now that we no. wouldn't do that. No, no, right. don't, no right. you've done it in the last. You've done it in the last. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, in the last Edward, years. Edward, Edward, Edward Snowden. Yeah. Edward Snowden, a zero or a hero. I mean, I would say zero. like even just like bringing up random. Can you guys stop? Did he do anything with the subreddit? Okay, Can just, you, guys, arguably, you guys are just keep engaging. Like, stop. I don't understand. Arguably, arguably, in the last month, we've illegally deported people. Like, um, I think it was like an international, an international uh, consensus or an international point that was made about these Haitian refugees that are coming and seeking asylum status. And there was a buildup of about fifteen thousand of them living underneath a bridge in Texas, and uh, it was said that the, the deportation of them before their asylum claims have even been filed and gone through due process is a violation of their of their rights. Okay, so sure, but that's not what, hold on, that's not what Castro said. He said, not revoking, the, the, citizen, not okay, revoking the citizen, hold up. Not revoking the citizenship of someone who was given citizenship. While I agree, okay, but maybe yes, it is a that. deportation, that's not at all what Nasser was talking yeah, about. Yeah, we, un- no, we, un- exactly. we understand, I'm not talking we understand, about we, understand. we get it, we get it, we get it, we get it, it's fine. So there have been incidents of this, Wherein people have gone to fight for foreign regimes, for example, or go, uh, gone to like fucking Syria to go and fight uh, uh, to go and fight both for and against uh, ISIS and so on, right? Like uh, the the United States revokes people's fucking citizenship. There are people sitting in the Al Hole refugee camp right now, right, who have had their citizenship revoked by the U.S. government because yeah. they went over to join ISIS. So yeah, um, it does happen. I mean, if if they're going to like become traitors i don't i don't know how how well, this, yeah yeah um, okay, I think okay, what, okay, he, yeah, what yeah. he mean i think okay, what he meant is without cause like what well, don't, I, no, I don't, this is so stupid right because there is a cause okay there is a, the idea that somebody who has uh, some kind of foreign uh, uh uh, foreign origin might have some kind of dual loyalty is a pretty common fucking trope among like most of these conversations that people have right you can you can take it uh, from from just like talking about muslims after 9 11 about how they have like a greater loyalty to sharia or whatever than they do to the united states government or or to the nation or, right or all catholics the way up to, like, catholics all the way up to the pope like, yeah Catholic. The people you're I, talking I'm about, the, 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 the yeah. people who That's got the their citizenship revoked, literally went across the seas and joined ISIS and started killing people. I don't like; it's not yeah. even close to equivalent. As, as Vivian, no, as Vivian, no, as someone, as, as someone I, I'm didn't. actually going to give you this because as someone who's former former military, I understand what you're saying. But at the same time, if they if 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 they turn coat or do anything in a negative fashion, that seems probably okay, you're missing, anti-American. You're missing the fucking point, dude. You're missing the point. You were saying that this couldn't happen to people who are like refugees or whatever, right? Well, I'm not talking, I'm, I'm I'm not saying, talking to like refugees. I'm just talking about like people okay, who are okay, in the okay, complaint of America. Gay, 
people who are foreign born who have gained citizenship, right? You're saying it couldn't happen to them, right? And I'm saying that it really isn't that far a fucking leap. The precedent is already kind of set if somebody has like an allegiance to some kind of other cause outside of the nation, right? And we're not just talking about people who went over and killed people, by the way. We're talking about like people who just like married into fucking ISIS or whatever, or people who just like, it's some people who went over and left to fight against ISIS, right? Like, who we should be considering our fucking allies, but because we pulled out and just left the Kurds to be murdered by the Turks, like, we, and all of a sudden, anybody who, like, joined up with the SDF is in a similar kind of situation where they don't know whether they're going to have their citizenship re revoked or not, right? So, like, but but it's not a, a particularly big leap from, from that to you are foreign-born, right, and therefore could have some kind of dual allegiance. Why not just cut it off before you go and fight against the United States, right? So, so did what did they have to do with the uh, the subreddit? What we haven't been talking about the subreddit for a long time. I people like her. <laughs> I thought that was what we were talking about. It was, why we but like, move, I, why I don't we even know so if we're away? I thought that was. I thought. Yeah, that was I mean, sure, I get though. that, but like, I mean, why say that after what Vivian said? Like, because I, like, I couldn't what? talk. <laughs> like, what I for thought context? That was the what point. subreddit is this? Well, this is the exactly. Norman Kane Award. <laughs> While this conversation goes on, I'm going to start right. typing my diss track to the Killer Team start. I just, I agree. That's, you know what? Can I okay. swear? Sorry. Well, look, I don't, like, some, the conversation shifted for a bit. That happens all the time. <laughs> okay. All right. If, if that happens, it's fine. Okay. I'm sorry. I, you know what? I do. It's fine. We can I'm go sorry. back. Yeah. 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 For, I'm sorry. I, I apologize. If okay. it's okay, Reverse. then I apologize. But it yeah. seems like it was, it, it shifted like so far okay. away yeah, from sure. like what okay. I was trying to okay, even sure. yeah, no I would also like with. to apologize for being annoying as I have uh, autism. Okay. That's great. Me buddy. too. It's um, okay, buddy. Any, anyways, uh, it, back to the website or the, not the website, the Reddit, I feel like there's some sort of Mont and Bailey going on here where at first you guys are saying, oh, well, it's just this catalog documenting the, you know, people's hubris and how it can get them into trouble uh, by rejecting the science of blah, blah, blah. And then like, then when, you know, people no, back, nobody's saying that. You don't think so? You don't, I, cause I could swear I heard several people here arguing that it, no, you know, it was valuable it. because it was what documenting was people's okay, uh, hubris. Yeah, I, Okay, so again, like like I said fucking ages ago, right? There is a difference between like intent and effect, right? You could just be putting this shit up there just to fucking laugh at people and shit on them, right? But there is but it is undeniable that uh, showing that these people who are staunchly anti-vax are dying of COVID, right, teaches a particular lesson to anybody who kind of looks at it, right? It is, an, it is the ultimate refutation of the things that they are saying, I think is what I, what I said originally. So, like, regardless oh. of intent, that is still that. No, 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 no. Well, the, when he's talking about what I said, and I talked about documenting it. So I, I did, like, say, like, this was a documentation of all cataloging that, and that's what I used before, cataloging yeah. this. So... But what was your objection specifically to me? Well, I mean, I feel like I feel like we both kind of know that this subreddit is most like I feel like the most accurate description of the subreddit is Schadenfreude, right? Yeah. It's people getting together and laughing at people who were idiots and who they feel like deserve to uh, maybe not deserve to die, but deserve some sort of punishment. And you know, they're not they're not going to be upset that they died because of it, right? So I feel like we're trying to give it this guise and make it something that it isn't. When I, what I, it is, I mean, whether good or bad is just people's Schadenfreude at you know idiots. So just side note, and I, I don't mean to focus on this part, but like most like writings aren't for like like uh, historians to look at in the future, right? Like when, when we look at these uh, these documents, like just from the from the from the current present to the past, right? It's not like people are like, oh hey. For my like historian brethrens, uh, you know, like later on, just so you know, right? Like King X killed Queen Y for these reasons, right? Like that's not how that works. Uh, these are people just doing things, right? Or writing things down because they felt felt like it, you know? Like it doesn't have to. The intent doesn't have to be there for it to do exactly that. But in any case, like that's not that's that exactly what I was saying. <laughs> Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Uh, then I, I missed that part. I thought you were coming at this from a different direction. But in any case, uh, yeah, it doesn't doesn't actually have to uh, do that, right? To have a use. Um, and beyond that, um, like the the, the Schadenfreude, um, like uh, so, like something more direct rather than like some hypothetical historians. Fair enough. Um, 
uh, something more direct is that is it there's a certain amount of catharsis right that's happening here um, people have no control of what these anti-vaxxers are doing right like they're like we the people have been so frustrated over the past year like year plus now um uh dealing with this vaccine or dealing uh, dealing with this pandemic and then the vaccine came out the vaccine came out and that was going to be a light at the end of the tunnel and we were going to be done we were, we were going to move on right 2021 was the year that we that america and the world gets back to it wasn't the case okay part of the reason and there's, there's many reasons not just for anti-vaxxers but part of it is that people didn't didn't mask didn't vask, vax and then not only didn't do that but fought it but fought it and court cases and everything it's just been a lot right and because that catharsis didn't come because that moment where um i'm sorry um not the catharsis but uh because that relief didn't come because uh we are still like stuck it feels like we're stuck here we just can't move there's good people are going to have outlets right so like even be because it's schadenfreude right because it's schadenfreude i think yeah it actually has some benefits because like what what can you do you can't like literally jab these people with a vaccine and be done with it you can't force them to wear a mask right like um you can't do any of that so like you know yeah i mean i, think it's clear, I, I don't I think, think it's... that that i don't think that that's a like invalid perspective of looking at it right and i don't think it's inherently bad to you know that these people are getting shot in Florida. I, I just you know in fact you know sometimes like i can see the appeal of it uh my problem was more that i feel like people were i i guess putting this up to be something that it wasn't and if it's you know people enjoying shot in Florida, i say you know let them go at it you know the the people who are the butt of the jokes are dead anyways so it's not like the end of the world, but I, I just wanted to push back against what I felt was like an unfair characterization of what the separate was. Yeah, which... nobody was making that assertion. All right. I mean, okay, well, I think then my, not... my bad. <laughs> Maybe someone somewhere made the assumption and I pushed back against them. Yeah, someone okay. someone made the, the assertion that it was like a documentation and historical. And I'm like, man, this Reddit probably just made for like that was prime case everyone oh, get them that might have oh, actually been me yeah. i said it was catalog yeah, i said that. it was like a catalog right but other yeah, than, but other than is, germany think... and israel like we're all from countries that voted to not make the intellectual property uh open source for countries like india that really fucking need it to like make make the <laughs> vaccines um so when i see people who are so fucking privileged like we are like deny the vaccine i just it how can i not like i them not doing it that's just a, a a vial of vaccine that goes wasted that could go to someone who actually wants it somewhere in uh, in another part of the world and well, i i just think that's so fucking selfish and that's really well, makes me mad sa well, sadly okay. that's not happening either way i don't think i think so like five five million doses have gone to waste uh, i forgot what the recent time period is obviously we have to open up the vaccine patents we have to make it open source and we have to share not only the materials uh, for how to make it, but the the recipe itself, um, and that's why, you know, um, so uh, against the uh, yeah the sanctions on Cuba and on Iran and on these other countries that could could even make it themselves, but yeah, I mean, opening up the pa the the vaccine patents themselves would make it so that country you know third world countries could get you know manufacture it, and India yeah, is like working on that right now as well. Before this, India was like uh, one of the top two or three vaccine producers in the world like oh. yeah they they had they had machines to do it well didn't and isn't that where the delta variant came from? shut up kamikaze yeah that's where it the came from because oh. they oh, yeah. they let them go to the, they let them go to this huge fucking uh religious festival where they all went along the ganges and like bathed each other but like then also like breathed on each other and they created a whole new fucking a despicable fucking fascist yeah yeah so Modi? i want yeah, to i want to I want to just, just say that, things. like, wait, what? I just want to say personally that I think it's kind of unfair to, for, well, first of all, to equate uh, anti-mask and anti-vaccine um, as being one and the same thing. Uh, there's a lot of things that come, like when you, like when you put a vaccine in your body, like you, you cannot literally touch your bloodstream or your antibodies. Like it's, it's in. 
it's done. Like it's then you you've put it in the hand. You like you put it in God's hands, so to speak. Okay, but when it comes to like a mask, there's still a lot of aspects of human behavior that you're just not going to be able to control as directly like you can with a vaccine. Like just being able to like touch your own face. You know, you you see all these memes of all these like politicians and people at a podium, they're literally talking about put like wearing a mask and not touching your, their face. And then like a second later, they touch their face while in that same exact it's a podium. hard habit to kick. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but like, you know, if everyone does their best and actually does their best, then it helps. And I'm um, simple I'm, as that. So do you think that what are you trying to say that one's more understandable than the other? Cause I mean, I can, I can kind of get behind that, but. Right. So, like, being um, anti-mask is more reasonable than anti-vaccine, for sure, without a doubt. A completely, 100%. I no, don't understand. I went my whole life, up until last year, not wearing a mask, and wearing a mask was weird. But I've taken vaccines my whole fucking life, and it's just fucking normal. You just take a vaccine every once in a while, and you don't get sick. And everyone else did it, so they don't get sick either. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. And being anti-mask is more reasonable than being anti-vaccine. No, it's more unreasonable because, like, you've taken vaccines your whole life, but you haven't worn a mask. So wearing a mask is like, no, fuck you. I don't want to wear a mask. I like to kiss my girlfriend on the lips. Why? Why do I have wait, to sleep? Oh, wait, 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 you're saying that being anti-mask what? is a more reasonable position, right? Or am I wrong here? Yeah, I'm it's, saying I'm saying being... no. I'm saying it's a less reasonable position. Oh my it's so stupid. I think they're both equitably horrible positions. I don't think no, you could I, say I think... one is worse than the other. I think they're both shit positions. I, I think it really. I don't think it really. I don't think it really matters which one is worse. They're both shit. I think it completely matters because Why? there's a lot. Because wearing a mask doesn't necessarily like you can actually exacerbate exacerbate problems exacerbate what? Tra no, transmission no. wearing a mask just like it, it it's just it's something you haven't done until last year but getting vaccines unless you grew up amish or something um or at fanatics household you just you've gotten like every couple <laughs> of years <Calm> down. <laughs> but I did, so, there, there's so okay. many things if that I, can if go I, wrong there are so many things that can no, go wrong. No, there's not with so much that can go wrong. You're not there's, going there's, wrong. There's literally right? nothing it's, that can go it's wrong. It's purely beneficial. No, okay, so there's there's one. Okay, like, what what's the, the difference? What's the difference? If the if the if the virus. If the virus is on the mask. The virus is on the mask. If the virus is on the mask, you said you said no. The point isn't the mask. The point is the aerosolness of you coughing. And generally, the aerosol is being stopped by the mask. Yes, you can eventually dump the mask and reuse a new mask. That's the point. Of really, the mask. really, really, really simply, okay. All these fucking, all, all that's being said, okay, is wearing a mask encourages you to touch your face more. So you're adjusting the mask, putting it on, taking it off, etc. Exactly. This was one of the early worries with like mask wearing that like Fauci fucking said about, right? Like, that risk is pretty fucking negligible, actually. But, like, it is an increased risk of catching COVID. However, like, overall mask wearing is much, much better. There's no way to, like, like properly quantify how... Yeah, so there literally is. You just no, take a mask there's... and you have someone cough and see how much aerosol gets through. But yeah. you're trying to, like, generalize... You think vast... scientists can do that? that? I do, there... yeah. Okay, yes, we've done that. Uh, scientists wow. can you, do stuff. You're, you're saying that it's reasonable that's, that's that it's and it's also scientific to make vast generalizations about vast quantities of human behavior, like a a, a wide array of time, like a huge Damn. amount of time. Okay, so I, I think I see what you're saying here. And I agree that you won't be able to predict exactly how much mask wearing will help the population, but you will be able to predict that it will help like the population, right? That's pretty that obvious. Get it. There's people out there that get it, and then they, like, spend the next week trying to spread it to people, like, coughing on doorknobs. 
like j- like you all you have to do is think like a psychopath to understand how all of these things can go wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like you can understand if people are oh, how outliers. <laughs> yeah, but so these people are outliers, right? And they're going okay. to skew everything, right? No, they're not going to skew everything because when you when you do a study, right? Like the outliers are generally included in it. That's why we have things like margin for error or whatever, right? You can say like, uh, I don't know, if you were talking about like people touching their faces, like how often they touch their faces, you would probably monitor like a random, uh, like a not even a random. You would try and get a varied study group, right? You would monitor okay. how much they touch their faces in daily life, and that's right? why we use and means rather than averages. Kind of. And, and, but and the they're... thing is, the problem is, is that like you're saying, you're saying like studies show. Okay, that's probably the biggest meme of like this whole. That that's probably gonna be oh, the biggest my meme. Studies. What? Let, let, let him, oh, my data. Hey, uh, let him, let, he's yeah. engaging in good faith here. Let's uh, hear him out. Dollar Technic. Okay, like, do 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 you know that like different scientific journals have like an impact factor? Do you know about the impact yep. factor? Okay. Of course. So, the lower the impact factor is, the less uh, reliable, so to speak, that data is. is. Not exactly true. The less relevant it is, right? Well, that's kind of like the same thing, really. No. At the end of the day, this argument is just sort of like an issue of hygiene. Like literally, <laughs> if we're talking about touching them, touching the mask, or reusing a mask, or like clean Wait, your fucking mask, people. Relevant like, to the, what though? Like relevant, relevant to, to the workplace. Relevant to like. No, 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 no. no. Saying, relevant saying, to going out. Said, no, because she said. I mean, I assume says, we all listened to exactly what CNN to sit, uh, said to do at the very beginning. Um, I that's my uh, that's my <laughs> that's, that's my too, for, like, news, is that yeah, the Canadian CNN. news yeah. network? Is that the Canadian news network? <laughs> CNN? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. so. I said I that the impact. So. So they talked about America that, a lot. Though. <laughs> so I said you that, run your point. you run your kale through a dishwasher. Okay, cool. So Let's I said that the impact a lower a lower impact factor means that that data is less reliable as a source of truth. Okay. As a okay, source yeah. of like, I don't, I don't follow how, how does having a lower impact factor. All that means is that it's not, um, it hasn't been right. cited as oftenly. It hasn't been cited as frequently. If the journal is still peer reviewed, I don't see. Like, I guess okay. if what you're saying is that there, there hasn't been as many attempts to refute it. Well, it, it's not really only because of that, that like people will like the same stuff will be around for longer than things that are uh like so like st- like older studies will be cited less but it's not because less people just got around to like go- most of the time it's not just it's like it's not that they didn't get around to reading it it's because it sucks like that branch how of would science they know for COVID nineteen no, new that's studies. Not how anything works? <laughs> yeah. How, how, how would we know? How would they know it sucks if they if no one's read it? No, no, no. I'm saying they don't cite it because it's unreliable. It's an unreliable. Oh, brand. I see. No. Okay, okay. So, so you're saying it's so like not the, not the uh, case uh, actually. A scientist. That, that it's not the case. So. For example, if you have an article which wait wait if you have an article which has like dodgy fucking uh, uh, methodology, right? That article is going to be cited quite a lot because Thank there's going to be a whole fucking bunch of people writing articles in reply saying this is fucked, right? Like, what it means when something hasn't been cited that much is it just hasn't really been paid attention to all that much. Okay, and there. I there think we're talking a, about two different definitions of citation things. then. Because I'm, I'm saying what like I use the. A... What do you think a citation is, dude? It's when somebody is when somebody literally cites that as a source for something that they're saying in a future article, right? That's what citation you... is. Okay, using there, cite to define so citation a is pretty weak. So, so, so there's, a, really get us there's a difference. There's a but there's a massive difference between like using conclusions from an article from a. Uh, piece of research to support further conclusion, like further. Yes, and the amount of and the amount of. Okay, like... yeah, no, I understand that. However, 
when you look at an article and see how many citations it has, it is not split into whether those citations are supporting the argument of the article that is citing it, or whether uh... it, whether the original article is being refuted by the subsequent study. Right? You don't know. Um, that. No, no. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's false. Oh, uh, it's not false. I can no, guarantee I mean, you, you, it's not false. Sure. <laughs> Okay. I can guarantee you it's do, not Do you have an example of that, like uh, of them separating it, the, the way uh, Biv says is not happening? Of them making that disambig disambiguation of biotechnic? So, they'll, like, they just reference the, like, the, the content. They don't, like, wait, okay, I'm, 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 I'm a little lost with you're okay, saying really, that like I, no super super simple. They're gonna okay. take a whole. They're like, gonna super super simple. Okay, so somebody writes an absolutely garbage article. Okay, let's say they say, um, uh, I don't know, um, chocolate causes, causes cancer. <laughs> chocolate does cause cancer actually, but <laughs> it has cancer oh, and, uh, and cure it uh, by the way um, and cure it. <laughs> But, 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 okay. In let's say, <laughs> okay, let's say uh, let's say that they make a statement that like ten thousand people are murdered by bin men every year. Okay, that's that's their statement. That's the conclusion of their trash collectors right? for us American folk. Thank you. Yeah, okay. I actually didn't know trash what you were talking about at first. Thank you. All right, um, <laughs> ten thousand people a year murdered by trash collectors. Okay, that's the conclusion of their their study. And their methodology is jank is fucking terrible. Okay, now other people in the field of, I don't know, probably sociology, <laughs> can yes. be going. Well, this is the most jank fucking shit that I've ever seen. And there will be a whole bunch of subsequent articles saying this is jank. This is why it's jank, right? And in order for them to do that, they're going to have to cite that article multiple times, right? That's that's I, you see somebody make a reply YouTube video. They're playing clips of the other person's YouTube video, right? It's the same fucking thing. Yeah. So, um, so you you have no way to distinguish when you just look at an article and see how many times it's been cited, right? You can't distinguish between them saying, "Hey, uh, I, I I'm referencing this study to show that ten thousand people have been murdered by bin men this year," right? Or if they're referencing that study to say this this study made a horrible fucking claim that is dumb and wrong, right? There's no difference between those two things in terms of whether or not the article has been cited, because in both cases it has still been cited. Vaccines are greater than masks, um, but overall, I'd say that uh, you still want to have the masks too. It's a, a dual part system. It's not one or the other. So you need both. I'm sorry. I thought I was muted. No, you're fine. What? That whole thing? You... Okay. All right. Hey, mm -hmm. talking... <laughs> sorry. What did you say? Mm -hmm. I, I didn't hear a single one. No, no. It's fine. It's, he, he thought he was muted, so it wasn't for us. He was talking to his stream. Yeah, yeah, what... yeah. Um... <laughs> He's right, though. But okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, it's, I don't know. This is pretty simple. We don't have to spend too much time on this because this is not important. Um, but, yeah, this impact value doesn't uh, separate, like, uh, someone refuting it. Um, and t t talking about how ridiculous uh, an article is uh, from uh, some people just saying, oh, hey, I found this great study. This is a truth that it reveals about the world, right? 90% um, of academia is people arguing with each other. Yeah. Like, especially when you get into the humanities and the social sciences, right? Like, um, in STEM, maybe it's a little bit less, right? But especially in the social sciences, um, you you are looking to have arguments with people who have already written articles. Okay, right? okay, but if you're, so like, if you're gonna refute an article, an article. you're not gonna refute an article, like, you're not gonna write an article to refute yeah, you 10 will. different articles. Yes, no, you, you you're gonna you you're gonna refute one article. You were you're gonna refute one no. and then provide. Well, you're not, you're no. refuting the article. Evidence. You're refuting a position that the article is making, right? Exactly. So you're, yeah. you'd be right. citing it to show that like right, the why this is a bad use, argument. But then you're gonna cite a lot. Yes, you're gonna have a lot more citations. Both. Right. You'd be citing. Yeah, you're gonna have to cite both in order to get. You're making like the the like vanilla ice versus under pressure queen and Stephen Bowie. Is that mm. that's that's the same thing or girl talk, where it's just like a big mashup of songs? That's the I'll same be honest, thing. I like right? vanilla ice. I love girl talk. 
Okay. I, <laughs> Damn I'm right. completely well, look, lost now. Yeah. Partisan issue, but I'm in the center. <laughs> the, this but, was, but the point I'm trying to make is I that like, I don't know why you're dying on this hill though. Like this is not the hill to no, die no, it's on. Not a, it's not, I'm not. I'm not dying on any hill. I'm hill. just saying that like, <laughs> hey, you're going you to. Died on this hill. Hey, you're gonna have a lot more citations that support your argument. Okay. Yes, and versus... they'll have high impact factors too, right? <clears throat> but the impact factor is not showing how credential something is. It's simply showing the impact that it has yeah. in like the world right for example you might look at a youtube video made by a political commentator and get a lot of replies to it they might all be negative but it still has a huge Wait, impact so there's the a impact lot of things value, that go into the impact value of a prager you video is very high right does that mean the prager you <laughs> video is true right yeah so like See, it would be high it would be high if it was used by like molecular dynamics no, chemistry high biology like everyone, oh, we everyone. Wait, 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 we're not we're not we don't follow no, answer. i'm we getting don't... high just listening to this shit. everybody in the politics sphere has referenced a prager you video right yeah. we don't like them here i thought that was what we were Talking about. I, mean, I thought, that was I thought we, I thought we loved him here. I was, we do. We like him. Is everybody aware of Prager You Kids? Yes, they're great. <laughs> Prager You Kids? No, I'm not aware of that. Oh no. So the impact factor oh, is no. not just how often. Please don't say it's real. It, yeah, you, 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 can, you can have you can have a you can have like a okay. of, I, I don't I don't want to I don't want to sorry I don't want to do into this anymore I, I'm bored with this <laughs> I'm bored with this conversation. <laughs> okay, uh, so where were you going from from that? Let's let's finish that up because I don't. What was the point of that again? Like let's it, it, we'll grant it for factors, the sake of argument. For this, impact, no, 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 no. What were you trying to use the impact? Real. Impact. Are we saying you can't trust the science? Basically, that's what he's saying. Okay, mm. so you can absolutely trust impact impact factors because it's it's a mm. very important measure of how relevant a certain topic is to the rest of basically the truth operation that is science, right? So. If it can't be a put like if if you can't apply psychology to biology, you're just getting it wrong. Okay, okay so, so I, if you I can't, have a question. If do you, you can't do apply, you, okay, you can't, okay, hold up, hold up. So do you so think you that the science on mask research is wrong and that it does not stop aerosols, um, you know, when coughed into? Because like you can argue like in in theory, maybe any of this is going to be a problem, right? But do you it's think that that's what broad. happened here? Do you disagree it, with the conclusions that they've made, I, or is this just a irrelevant point? I don't disagree if every single human being was walking around just like like a robot, like just you know, like very precise Electric. movements. Never touching mm. their face, never touching tables, never touching the McDonald's counter, never touching the like. The, right, but the, that, that's not what the studies go over, right? Like, yeah, of course, it, sure. They it, don't go it, over it, it because it, they no, can't. No, 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 no. But like getting getting big. COVID, sh 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 getting COVID, COVID from like touching surfaces is like not how people get it these days. That's how we thought it was in the first little while. All right, correct. Actually. We're still talking about COVID, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No. Oh. Okay, I, I have a question. Okay, I got some weird so, again, I feel like this returns in, returns into an issue of hygiene, just hygiene. Like yes, literally, I know. Yes, the studies, sense. the studies, the studies are are obviously made for a reason. That so in that in that context, yes, mask work. Um, yes, we we understand that not everyone is as hygienic as others. People might actually start touching their face. People might wear the same mask more than once. People might do a shit like that just to kind of like shortcut things. But I mean, it's, I feel like the opportunity of wearing a mask and then sneezing is still better than than nothing at all. Uh, over overall, I do I do feel like uh, I do feel like it, this is not this is I don't feel like this is an issue honestly. But whatever. Yeah. Know, Nick, I'm just super curious. So even if we grant you that there is a, it's harder to calculate the efficacy rate of a mask compared to a vaccine, what point is being made there? Or is it just, we? there's more factors, so it's harder. Is there like an actual deeper point? I'm sorry, you're, 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 you're asking wh what the point of bringing up why does it matter if yeah, why, why does it matter if it's harder to calculate? Or are we just the impact arguing? of masks? No, no, no. Why does it matter that they have like a varying degree of efficacy? Efficacy, sorry. 
because you're trying to force people. So like, you're getting into a place where you're trying to force people to do something. So you have you better have yeah a rock okay. But solid. why can't we why can't we force people to wear masks and do the vaccine because they're both pretty positive and we can we can measure that that they have very positive effects. We can't pinpoint it as well as we can with the vaccine, but overwhelmingly it has shown that wearing a mask does benefit you. Wait, we can't pinpoint what? We can't pinpoint how uh, effective wearing masks are, right? As but, well yeah. as we could with the vaccine. Uh, the, the, yeah, he's not can. trying to say that we can't possibly. He's just saying that like, even though we can't on the panel can't say exactly which one's better. Like, yeah, but well, why does that matter? Uh, because they're obviously uh, both know, yeah, very good, right? Well, I mean, yeah, it's, it's the the fact that like uh, honestly so water that's the thing, is some... that like you know. okay. is it's it's that like ma- you're um. you're still ignoring the other reasons okay. that like me- not wearing a vaccine or sorry not wearing uh, yeah, not wearing a vaccine not wearing a mask would be desirable for someone so like uh Re- retain, retain, I, feel like, I feel like this is like the yeah. problem that we're getting into like literally this is like the kind of like misinformation or not fully focused information you're, that ends you're up calling getting, it getting misinformation to this, but you have you're, you're, you're pulling that out of your ass uh, that literally ends up on that reddit and then generally you 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 get covid and then it's that situation all over again okay so, so, be, so be if we're, if we're he's right not saying to, either is bad yeah i know i just yeah, we're just taking us down there's one rabbit hole after another. And there's, it's an like... argument, there's an argument to be made that wearing a mask lowers your innate re- immune response. And I know no, there's, there's there is not an argument to be made. There's no argument to be made there. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. You really like peer reviewed studies, right? Can you show me a peer reviewed study with a high impact? I think you to it. Yeah, and I'll, I'll make, I mean, I'll I remember going to a natural path now. thinking that the uh, herbs and oils were going to help me until I really got sick. So. What, I, what I like about yeah. Pan is that he can deliver these sick burns with like a dead affectation all the time. <laughs> I find it very enjoyable. Uh, I, I, w- I was trying to avoid saying dead Pan, but you know, uh, but so. <laughs> <gasps> so I'm happy he's here. But yeah, like he find find us that study, and I actually would like to have a high impact value. That would actually be great. Still, oh, wow, find us a look study. At this. Look at this. Wait, wait, look at this. Look at this. Okay. February 18, 2021. Okay, great. New study by the National Institutes of Health, NIH, which will appear in the Biophysical Journal. Biophysics. Yep, we know NIH. That a lot more That's than... good. That's fine. Well, yeah. Buy a physical journal. I trust that oh, shit a lot more than in the chat. Put it in the chat. Yeah, put it in the Twitch chat so everyone can read it. Yeah. Yeah, Please, Twitch chat. chat. No, it's gonna go by in the Twitch, Twitch chat. chat. Come on, in Discord. Put a Twitch like, chat. Do it. You can put it in both the Twitch chat and the VC chat, uh, which is a text channel and just Discord here. One okay. Uh, uh, so finds the humidity built up when using masks triggers an immune response, which could explain why cloth masks have been effective in limiting COVID nineteen spread. Okay. Antiviral immune response. All right, I gotta look at this. All right, Researchers research found part. that normal breathing in a mask creates a, an absorption cycle where supersaturated air is absorbed by the mask fibers where you exhale, followed by evaporation when breathing in dry air from the environment. Double layered cotton cloth masks. The, it triggers an the immune response. Does it say that it lowers the power of your immune system to fight back? Like, okay, let's say it triggers an immune response, but is the like, what is the impact? So, of that? So, your immunity, so your now, immunity so is going so up. Now, yeah, isn't so that? Now, does that so mean now, it's going up? So now, so now yes, it's going up. Wait, 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 no, hold on, hold on. The wrong point. This, this, this argument. Hold on. This, no. this, this, this paper is literally arguing that cloth masks, despite scientists not expecting them to be as effective, are effective. So this is looking no. for. This is showing right. over. Yeah, third, look, no, wait, it does say, say that. It literally says right after what Prime said. It, it's saying that it's overstimulating your immune response. And that's let's kind of read what the you first want, thing. That's a, that's right? a new study. Uh, you you know, want it. a new study by NHS will on, appear in the bio. On, Pop Mac Pan, handle it. It will appear in the biophysical journal fields. You're saying that's a good thing. Uh, using mask uh, 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 speeding your study. Could it explain why <laughs> cloth masks have been effective in limiting COVID 19 spread? So they're saying that this. Uh, phenomenon explains why masks work. 
So this isn't an arg- article against oh, masks. I, it's I it's read, literally showing I read why. Why have not? Sorry, I, I thought I read haven't. So so look, oh, it okay, says it right happens. here. It says the humidity in the mask promotes respiratory epithelium, which studies have shown is beneficial to your immune system. I explained in 2011 study a published in the American Society of Microbiology, the airway uh, epithelium acts as a frontline defense against respiratory viruses, not only as a physical barrier and through the mucosal mucosillary apparatus. Mucos. But- uh, thank you. Uh, but also through its immuno- immunological functions, it initiates multiple innate and adaptive immune mechanisms, which are crucial for efficient antiviral responses. Yeah, this was like, it says literally the opposite of Biotech, what you said. Nick, all you've proven is that, uh, is that. Yeah, you're right. No, you're right. Big yeah, yeah, you're right. But biotech, are you like pro vaccine? Sorry? Are you like pro vaccine? Do you want people to have the vaccine? I'm anti half ass truths. That's what I'm against. Okay, you gotta answer uh, Are you vaccinated? Are you vaccinated, sir? I, are you, I, I took it once. Are you, Wait, okay, which one? Are, it depends. Like, did you take the okay, Pfizer or just one shot of the Moderna? Are, no, did even if that, Johnson, even Johnson? if you did, like, what? Are you anti mask? Oh, I'm, I'm anti mask, yeah. Okay, what you linked to us says that. Like having a mask on, yeah, is okay. Um, yeah. If you're not trolling, uh, sincerely, fuck you. Um, <laughs> eat, eat some like dirty ass. No, I hope no, your next no. fucking okay, Tinder no, that's, date. That's well, 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 here's nice. my question to you, though. Down, here's my question. Down. You're you're not anti you're not anti vax, but you're anti mask. We know that there are breakthrough infections that occur even in the vaccinated, and that masks help to prevent those breakthrough infections. So why would you want to limit the ability of us to be able to protect ourselves and require protection for those uh, most vulnerable, including those that can't get the vaccination? The point of me wearing a mask isn't for me. It's for everyone around me. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, it's like, for that's, both. It can help uh, you. That's too. a... So, but Was that like for the next? Expe- yeah, but, but that's the expect. That's the basically that's the unreasonable expectation is that like you want people to like behave selflessly. This, this <laughs> well, just, yeah, yeah, that's right. kind of what happens when you live in a society wow. and are a part of the social contract. Yeah, but look, society, right? Being I do not expect people to act selflessly. Society. I do not consider wearing a mask to act selflessly mask acting selflessly because it also benefits you because you have a vested interest in COVID ending just as much as the next person does, right? But even but if you think that I do, it's, yeah. a, it's a fucking myth and there is no no COVID. I do, but like some people everyone, want everyone thinks that no, everyone thinks there some is and you're just like, okay, fine, I'll wear a mask. Some well, people want those population, people. yeah. Then why are you not wearing a mask if the, if people want? Oh, you want population, like including you? Is that what you're saying? Hey, thank you. Thank well, you. I'm just yes, saying yes, that like, right, some people do want depopulation, but I'm I'm against you like, don't mask because Wait, you're of against me. masks because you're against depopulation. I mean, that's why we have I'm laws, right? Mass. Because some people I'm want against things, mass. but it hurts the rest I'm of society. My, so we I'm against mandates. me. I'm I'm against we mar- me wearing a mask because I we marry. don't. I am a special boy. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I, if you're, if you're, I, I don't know what the point is, bro. You're against Please wearing a mask. You're, if you want if you're to against argue. wearing a mask, can you accept that you're not going to be able to go into certain social situations any longer because those businesses or those communities will say they don't want to have you there? And can you accept that? Because it's not a mandate. They're just saying, if you want to come here, we want you to wear a mask because this is our private business or our little community oh, institution. That's I'm just, I'm saying like out on the street. So are you agreeing? Oh, out I'll on like the street, no one wants you to wear like a mask random... out on the street. Like, come on. You can go no for a run that. without wearing a mask. Yeah. I mean, you can be okay. like anti-mask, but then still be like okay with like businesses like shutting you out because you're anti-mask. Are you I'm fine with that? You go in there and get kicked out. Oh, the, yeah, yeah, no, that's wear a mask. Be like, can I take it off? People want you to take their shoe, like your shoes off. When you're, I've, I've never seen that. Don't, don't, like, wait, 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 I agree. What shoes carry. Shoes hey, 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 what the hey, fuck are you talking about? Can I ask Nick, Nick, Are Nick. you just hold on, hold on? Are you just trolling? Are you high? Are you just tro- <laughs> yeah? Are you? Oh. <laughs> are you high? 
There's she's people that even. want. That, there's a bunch of. There's no, a no, bunch no, of no, 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 Are you high? high? No, no, dude. No. I mean, I am, and he's too high for me. He's been real, man. You're asking. You're asking. You like reacting with such incredulity at every every time I open my mouth. Yeah, I know. Like, maybe it's not every time. We let you talk. Maybe we just agree with you for some reason. Arguments and your rhetoric and shit, and you know, like get back to us. I don't know. Well, yeah, here's the problem. You I mean, if the you want to argue chat. that there are circumstances where having a mask is too restrictive, then that's fine. But, like, I don't see why you would premise this on a lie that masks don't work and not premise it on, like, some sort of, like, bodily autonomy or individual liberty thing. Like, I don't understand why you would just deny, like, the basic facts before making your argument. Because from our point of view, it, it just, uh, the reason we, we have animosity every time you speak or something like that is because we know what you're saying, or at least the initial fact that you're saying is obviously not true. Well, you know that what? I what? think this is a this is a good way to loop it back to the original to the original um, award subreddit that we were talking about because uh, let's say that that biotechnic was. Hey. <laughs> Wait a second. No, Wait, let's not your... say that. Come on. Well, I'm just saying, like, I wouldn't want. I wouldn't want him posted up there saying stuff about like vaccine hesitancy or like mass skepticism or anything like that. And I guess there's like an argument to be made that posting everyone up on that like Reddit is like a disincentive for people, you know, that, that we should be more compassionate towards people that have that kind of skepticism. Well, I think that it shouldn't. It should be that our goal shouldn't be to make fun of and laugh and dismiss them, but to educate and try to give them the resources they need. For example, okay. you linked us an article, right, which actually disproved your point. So I think a lot of people really. are operating. Oh, no, it did. It did. Okay, it did. we all we all read it. It actually disproved your point, and it was the first thing you Googled, which shows me that you probably have no other basis, right? So. What I'm trying to say it, is it, like it, it disproved. It disproved. It disproved my point for a different reason. Link another article then. No, Great. but hold up, hold up. That that uh, article that you cited and, you know, we're assuming, you know, you said NA, NIH is really good. It says that masks work. I'm pretty sure I don't even agree with Pan, but please they, link another so article they, they, about masks. Redu they reduce the, like, they reduce the ability to spread the virus, but, like. Well, that's the uh, important part, your right? Body, that's, that's what we're trying to do. But your body what? Some people only want to care about their own body. Okay, so, like, so you're saying what no they... one should wear a mask because some people are going to fucking cough on people? No, Wait, those people can get what? kicked in the nuts and laughed at. Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah, kick him in the nuts so, and laugh like, at him. No, so no, I don't think no, a society okay. should rely I... on individual good actors, right? We can create laws, we can create mandates that require people to act in a certain way. For example, private businesses, they force you to wear a mask, right? Because to go inside, you're putting others at risk. I don't think it's right to necessarily say... Just because one person doesn't want to wear a mask, fuck them. They can go die in the streets. Okay, we can create laws and systems in place no, 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 to actually no, no. encourage like, that behavior. But like, I'm not going to call the cops on someone not wearing a mask. But I might be like, fuck off and kick them in the nuts. No, wait, well, no, no, I, no, I, that would be bad. You can't just you'd rather be violent me, to people. You'd rather I no, yeah, I would, I would it? rather make it a law that you can't wear a mask for the same reason why I think if someone's shitting on the street, you probably shouldn't walk up to them and go kick them in the nuts, right? You want to call the police Sorry, and be like, you hey, can't do this. No, you don't no please. Wait, wait, wait. I have someone shitting on the street. Okay, okay no, you definitely don't have someone to on the street. Them. If you I, I shame people that don't wear masks. No, I have no on. problem with it. Hold on a sec. If you get the cops and the state involved, all you're doing is delegating the violence to somebody else. Don't fucking yeah. try and weasel out of the... Yes, like, because we someone... shouldn't be the right. arbiters of the point of a police force. You think they, 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 they want to be shitting the on the street? Getting kicked in the nuts is probably a lot... Getting kicked in the nuts is probably a lot more pleasant than being fucking arrested, right? Yeah, don't yeah. call the cops on people. All I want... Violent. All I want to know, Nick, please, just... It, do you think mask, like send the virus back into your body and make you more sick like why no masks because what? so okay so 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 you so okay if you, if you stimulate your body to ex like if you exercise you stay fit but if you over exercise you can injure yourself so that logic can yeah, that checks out. very likely apply 
can you that can very likely apply to like exposing yourself to the elements so to yeah. speak you're talking about like immunity, i can directly, like attack, I can directly attack viruses with my own my no, own no, uh, he, he's cells. talking about a yeah. thing that like mm -hmm. a lot of people think it's like you know if you let your kid play in the dirt and like you know let the dog lick it in his face and stuff the, the your kid will have a better immunity and uh no that's not I what he's saying no that. no no you're not listening to what he's saying not what he's saying no no what are oh, you saying it's, I thought that's it's like, that when you it's over like, exert like, your yes immune no, system because it's not like like when you over like, exert your body he's saying like if you over exert your, your body um then you'll have a detrimental effects but and so he's well, relating well, that it, to his almost as if you attach it with the same no, so, all of so like, you attack so like, the same so bias like, over and over. No way, I'm. I am saying. saying. I am saying what he just said, but it's the, the difference being is that like so that dog, the, the healthy dog licking, the like oh a, a home dog licking this? your baby's face is not a bad is not a bad thing, but maybe like a, no, a, this, a raccoon, but maybe a, a no. raccoon with rabies. <laughs> Uh, is definitely oh, not going. It's going to be an overload to the immune system. What the fuck is happening? Overload to the immune defense. system. You're going to get fucked because you don't know what the hell the raccoon has. You're not overloading the immune system. You're like getting. That's what I'm saying. I just, whatever. I literally just said the. I literally yeah, just so why said. Why are we talking about an overload group? of the immune system? Okay. Yeah. How does I rabies work? That is Remember, what how it does rabies up? work? How does rabies work? I can't. I can't listen to a man saying licking a raccoon licking you with rabies. Yeah, I don't. Like, I, I don't. Mm. I don't think you understand. I'm, I'm sorry about the technic. I, I just don't think you have a a proper understanding of the immune system, and you're just saying. What you are know, you talking about? I literally just said that a dog. Yeah, no, I know what you said, and that's not helping grown. your case. Everyone heard it. It's not helping your case, there, you buddy. Talk? I'm I'm saying that, that you might not have not the best you know understanding. That it's not sick. Yeah, no, we got uh huh. Yeah, we, we okay. understand. No, but listen, but like, prime, no, 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 but a like... stray dog is dirtier than a than than a fresh born puppy. <laughs> and that's the okay, no, I think, I think I we Wait, before oh, we go down okay, yeah. on babies' Nick. faces, just no, every no. Uh, we'll we'll just get dogs and take them door to door to lick babies' faces. Yeah, that's no. then we'll be just, good. Nick, Nick well, add me after just, this. Just, I want to make sure that they're clean dogs. Sorry, not dirty dogs. You people literally do that. Dog play dates every single day. Yeah, they did that in like the, the 1800s week. when they had like no medicine, okay? Or I don't yeah, know. Dude, literally all of them. Dogs with no no experiences in life. Right like now. What are you, you talking about? Rabies. Oh my god. Okay. All right. So I don't I don't think your understanding of the immune system is deep enough for this conversation. Um, I it's think a, it's completely deep enough. For I don't. This conversation. Yeah, I really don't. I did biomedical really engineering don't. for a major. I know. Uh, biology. Did you for real? Wait, 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 wait. You have did to you for real? Out, did you for to, real? You are going to have to pull out your motherfucking degree right now. That's what yeah. it's going to take. Like, <laughs> you're going to have to pull out your motherfucking degree right this second. Do it. I, I might eat it for real, Do like it. real life. Like Google, eat it that degree. Just Google my name and then WPI. No, 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 no need. Like your no. Discord name? Like, we're gonna, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna need. Oh, to... shit, that's why his like, name is Biotech Nick. Yeah, no, I, I, no, I got that. I got that. Just Google Nicholas, just Google Nicholas Silva WPI and you'll you find. No, no, you've already got it. No, no, you've already. All right, Kyle, so you find my since you heard your research paper published on the website. Yeah, okay. What website? So, what website is that? Um, like, give us a degree. Like, you can. You, I, I believe you were there, and you could have done coursework. I believe that. Uh, yeah, I want. I want find my diploma right now. What do you mean? Yeah, bro, I want. I want dox you for real. Like, please, just. No, like, he, he already. Gave no, his, don't show your diploma. He That's literally dumb. already gave us his real watching. name. He really, literally gave us his real name just now. Oh, oh yeah, well, okay, then I guess you can get a shoot diploma. Never mind. Look, there's a there's a million. You'll of see them. somebody in his career. It's gonna be after this. I don't care about doxing myself. I I literally have a a, a another web page on the USA Taekwondo website. Like I was on the national team. Like it, it literally has my it literally has my hometown in on a US. Okay, buddy, wait, 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 Dude, I don't care. Okay, great. I'll do so that anyway, with you right now. I, 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 I literally don't believe. Like, with your understanding of, of the immune system. Finish the prime, please. Or maybe, yeah, yeah, you have an understanding of the immune system. I just. I can't wait to be on the front page of that Reddit because unless, that's pretty much where we're going. Oh, yeah, I swear I mean, to God. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> 
yeah um I unless they, that's not part of the the coursework then sure but other than that i just i don't like the new system i don't i don't know all right so we're gonna have to move out we're just you know, <laughs> Okay, I have to go somewhere else. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Brian. No, no, it's fine. Um, but okay. yeah, so like the whole point of the mask is for to protect vulnerable people. You but really like, want to stop? You're. <laughs> I'm just saying that it's like vulnerable people. You know, some people do believe in survival of the fittest. And are you one of them? Is... Stop! Stop hiding behind some people. Believe? Can you? Can you commit to being one of them? Or are you? Experts say. I mean, some people be... tell me that I need help. I don't listen though. Well, right, but I mean, like, are are you actually like a social Darwinist? Like, it's survival of the fittest. People who die to COVID deserve it because they're weaker. So I'm, no. I'm sorry, but when you say okay, well then, what are you what are you like, talking about then? I I think we should be having more ways to help people stay in their homes during like more incentives to do the good behavior. Instead of just like forcing people, because if you financially forced. compensate people, if you find it, there's I'm pretty sure some point, states though, did honestly. force people. And I'm pretty sure some people did force people, like some states did, like New York or something. Like they had to the, they like, no. the best strategy would be like UBI or some kind of like universal payment or like guaranteed food or. Something like yeah, that, okay. so that people look at. I, I, I think as a completely you, separate uh, argument. Like, if we want to factor to people who have no intention of participating in society or doing basic things that help the rest of society, maybe we can make that argument. I just, that's not happening right now. Meanwhile, COVID is killing people by the millions. So, um, yeah. If you choose to not participate in society, if you choose not to get a vaccine, you can stay home all you want, but government ain't paying for your shit. Sorry, bud. Uh, I feel like... Well, that's kind of the problem, isn't it? Uh, it's like, that is a big we, problem. People, I feel, okay. I feel like the, the anti-mask crew paid... can be better than this. I, I, I do. I'm, I'm actually... I have some faith in them. And this is... Really? I'm, this I'm, is I'm, I'm, I'm literally... Are you anti-mask, bro? I'm for said so. zero... I'm, ze I'm for a zero percent <laughs> tax rate in UBI. That's what I'm for. Okay. All right, that's oh, nice. All right. Cool, cool story. Yeah, yeah, the money machine got burned. Dollars a month or something. Okay. Cool story. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. After yeah. you yeah. Have... No. No. Ev oh, all right. Everybody, let him phone it. Go ahead. Go ahead, buddy. Please tell me. Vivian. So how much you have to pay? Vivian. Wait a second. If we have a zero percent tax rate, how are we funding UBI? Yeah. No. Funding, let him. Right? Let him talk yeah. about it. Funding. Funding. Yes. Because the. Yeah. Because the. Treasury in the, in the, whatever the fuck the other department is that is responsible for printing printing out money, they don't exist, right? You just want the Fed to print okay, money? Right. No, no, you just uh, okay. Can we see, not? No, see, see no, we let have, him, let him, have. Let him go ahead. Let him follow have, it. We please. have the artificial intelligence tools to implement this technology, but for the sake of fake, phony capital. Hey, can I ask, hey Nick, can I ask you a question? I just want to. No, no, I need to ask this question. Side. Don't don't yeah, ask any questions. I'm gonna just let him go. I just I need really to ask this question. Oh god. Have you ever worked a labor job, retail, or anything of that kind? Because your 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 ineptitude is showing. <laughs> um, it's quite literally showing. Have you ever done any of those things? What? So Ed, I no answer his question and then keep going with your uh your theory, so... please. So, okay, so I spent 15 years of my life being a Taekwondo martial artist, okay? So, no, so, you're totally okay, not. <laughs> biotech, biotech, wait, question. What do you consider labor? I realize that's not a great okay, credential for this conversation. Not, I want to know what any of this has to do with biotech. I want to know. Is me not helping, is me not helping my oh, teammates my become yeah, national yeah, 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 champions? Yeah, like, is that not you labor? Keep going on something. No, that's, 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 that is okay. manual labor work. Okay. okay. That's very important. Okay. Okay. Kind of labor, labor is not the kind of labor that I would, I um, that, that, um, requires you to kind of learn, like, the it's market. not helping anyone. Yeah. You ever okay. lifted okay. anything more than 60 pounds? Back, kick, like, I've done some, I've saying, worked, no, 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 I've no, 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 40 minutes. I have a question. This, this, this is giving me a fucking headache. Can we take it one at a time or some shit? I'm sorry, I mean, I've worked with granite before. Question, biotech. Um, are you a conservative or are you like a Democrat? 
He's a fucking ANCAP dude. I've already answered that question. He's an ANCAP. Yeah, he's not an ANCAP. No, 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 hold up. No ANCAP supports the Fed printing money, okay? I can tell you that. He's no ANCAP. Okay, fucking wild I'm a, te- I'm a technocrat. I'm a technocrat. I'm a Don't technocrat. use these words, please. Just fucking state points, please. Elon, Elon Musk, Bitcoin, gonna save the universe kind of person. Oh, here we go. No, I, I, I just want to. I, I just want to know what any of. I, I still, I still, for the last ten minutes, have had this burning question in my mind, and I just, okay. I want to know what any of this has to do with the age of consent. What? I'm just. I, he's, he I'm just not passed it. Yeah, he is not a concern, huh? How do, how do you Obviously, feel about the age concern? He may fuck his little sister, but come on. <laughs> whoa, you, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa! Who, okay, all right, hold on. Okay. What just happened? They're no. trying to make anti libertarian <laughs> jokes, but I'm no, the only what, libertarian here. I, I mean, that's true. That's That's for real. But. Who else is from DGG? Like, well, no, I'm a libertarian. I, any I of you, know. like, for real okay. libertarian? Hand right. up, hand up. Okay, all right. Actual okay. libertarian. What okay, all right. Well, what? look, I don't. I do. we can't, we can't bring. Okay, like, oh, I, 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 shut up. There, this was a roller coaster. This was a roller coaster. Um, I think, but um, <laughs> I, I think we've hit hit the end. Right, hit the end of whatever the fuck is happening here. I'm not oh, sure. Anyways, I'm not have. sure anyways, what you just witnessed so, so, for like the okay, last wait, hour and a half. Have, I don't know. An I don't know. That's but, fine. Um, no, it's fine. We don't. We don't care. We don't. It doesn't matter. Okay, it, good. It, it's, it's gone. Um, <laughs> You're but, a technocrat, uh, which is like less. Um, well, yeah, about approaching we're, your we're senators good. in the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> what is the difference between it is wrong and an ancap? Doesn't ancapism just eventually end in like technocracy and feudalism anyway? Right. It's the same thing. Technocracy is a smart everything. You have the power. Yeah, yeah. It's like ANCAP. It's like ANCAPism, but you can use. Wait, wait, wait. It's ANCAPism, but you can use robots to determine what the age of consent should be. Prime, I got you. them. You have the you have the power, buddy. No, no, I don't. Are you? No, you guys no, gotta hey, get more anti-libertarian jokes. I mean, is, these are getting old. Biotechnic. How do you? Biotechnic. How do you? Biotechnic. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Oh my God! Shut up! Shut up. With a robot. Oh my god. Uh, now I will mute because I need you to shut up. When I tell you to shut up, I need you to shut up. All right. So uh, now I'm muting. Holy shit. <laughs> what was that? Ow. Oh. <laughs> like, what? I sent her with a robot. What the fuck? <laughs> well, that, that was a question asked to him, to be fair. <laughs> Okay, whatever. I I just I don't we're know. We're strapped on for the. I don't know coaster, what the but... fuck. Who wins? Everyone's fine. Go I ahead. don't know what any of that was. I don't know what any of this was. But okay, it's something we all experienced, and we're just gonna have to live with that. All right. Well, anyway, <laughs> so if we programmed, if we programmed, it, it started robot, with the the such consent, What do you think the answer would be? Like, Thirty-seven. We're talking about thirty-seven. That seems to me actually. Yeah. I don't think you should let to be have sex until you're thirty-seven. That seems fucking dumb to me, but okay. No, oh, oh, no, we don't have to do age of consent. We don't have to do that. Okay, great. I um, love grapes. If I'm being honest. Tonight, huh? No, no, it's not about age of consent. It's like, anyway, yeah. sorry. Go, Prime. What's an, uh, you you want to move us on? You want to move us forward um, to a place, a better place? From <laughs> the sunny uplands. And any place <laughs> Rage, Rage is better Rage. than this place. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. Take wow. us to Eden, Prime. Yeah. Where are we going? <laughs> If you're leaving Ray Jason Society, he's based. He's oh, we, cool need, guy. we need some of the prime support guys. Yeah, some guys uh, for them. Sub trains going on. Guys, if you're enjoying the on, content, on. if you want more uh, ANCAP debates, subscribe to Prime K. Yeah. 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 And if, if you want to get in here, you, yes, you can can join in the fun. Yeah, I I I'm not sure this is the best <laughs> example of. of like of my content of what what it can oh, be. That... I don't know. Oh, no, it's a perfect prime. example. Hurts prime. <laughs> Shut up! Oh. <laughs> don't let them know that. <laughs> I need them to think this is an off night. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, sometimes the off nights are the most fun. You're right. I'm sorry. Yep. Yeah. He's he's correct. That's right.